What's up guys? Derek here with JCon Systems. Recently we sent out a video and we were requesting tutorials and videos from you guys and we had a great response. I'd like to share with you a video from Mike in the UK. Mike is showing us how to blink an LED. So go ahead and take it away Mike. Hello, my name is Mike and I'm going to be introducing a few basic tutorials on the Arduino boards. With me here I have the Arduino Duo Milanova which is this board right here and we're going to make the easiest program that can be made on the Arduino to start with. Okay, so to start setting out the uh, small circuit I'm going to be using the Duo Milanova which is right here. I'm going to be using 220 ohm resistors a small buzzer module and LED. Also something that's quite important is the jumper wires which in this case I've chosen to use just black and red for just ease. And one more thing that always has to be in your box is a breadboard. Now the breadboard is a really really important thing to be with you all the time when you're prototyping things. So I'm going to be adding the positive on my left, so this is a positive pin. There's the 220 ohm resistor going in the breadboard. Now I'm using red as positive and black as ground. On the Arduino board I'm going to be connecting black to ground which is the second pin from the right and I'm going to be connecting to one of the 12 pins between one and number 13 anyone would do actually there's there's no really great difference between them so I'm going to be connecting this to pin number five so basically this this is the easiest circuit you can make and the easiest program that you can make on the Arduino I'm going to be showing right now. Okay, so let's start making the program. Two things that are very important that need to be in each and every one of your sketches is these two commands. The void setup command, which is this one here, and the void loop command, which is this one here. Now, the syntax of these commands is exactly the same. You have the two parentheses and these two symbols below. Every command that is going to be written now needs to be inside these columns. So, to start with, we need to define what pin we're going to be using. And to do that, we need to use the integer command. That's the int, and usually you use let pin, which is also the standard that's defined inside the examples. And we're using 5. Now, you need to be adding semicolons to all the lines inside programs, inside void commands, and inside loops. Um, also, one thing to remember is that because this is this is basically C++, this is case sensitive, and that's very, very important. So, to start with, we need to define the mode of the pin. So, what I'm doing here is defining this as being an input or an output. Since we're using a LED, this is an output. Now, notice what I'm using here, that the output command I'm using is put in caps. That's very important, so don't forget about that. Now, inside the loop, we're going to basically going to have to create a small switch, which is going to switch the lamp on, the LED on, and then delay for a little while, hopefully like uh, 500 milliseconds, and then just switch it off. Now, in computer language, and especially in C language, on is high, and off is low. Pretty easy, yeah? Now, let's start using the digital write commands to define the pin. This is, do that, that's digital write. So the LED pin I'm using to start is high. And I'm going to give it a delay of 500. Note that this is 500 
millisens. Now we need to switch it off, which is digital right let pin define that as low semicolon and keep that for a delay of another 500 milliseconds okay that's pretty much it so let's upload that to the board and see how that is going so it's still uploading and binary sketch so there you go we're done uploading so let's have a look at the sketch on the board okay so i've got the board connected to the computer i've uploaded the sketch on the chip and now let's have a look so there you go that's connected to pin 5 and ground and we've got the uh, led that's blinking and it's on for half a second and off on off on off now if i take this out and i use the buzzer module that's also going to work. One thing to note is that this will only work for these two modules. It's not going to work with motors and any other moving parts. Now, this might actually be a little bit basic, but when you come to master this, you're going to be able to make some cool stuff. So something like this. I have shown you how to make the simple blinking LED. Now I'm going to show you what we're going to be working on on the second tutorial, which I'm going to be uploading pretty soon. Now, this is a small project that I've been working on. It's a pretty simple thing. Now, what I've got here basically is a buzzer and 10 LEDs, which are connected to pin 1. Every red cable, every red jumper cable that I've got here is connected to pin starting from my right side so that's your left this is number one and this is number eleven so this is number one two three four five blah 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 eleven and I've also got one ground here which I have connected on the board now you can see how I've connected that anyway you can figure that out so I'm gonna start putting this into pin one I have also uploaded the program for this and this is just to show you that for a pretty boring program you can actually make some pretty cool stuff now I've already connected to number three this is number two three four five that's six seven it's eight it's nine that's 10 and back to the beat. So there you go. We've finished one tutorial. I'm going to be showing the code and how to do this out of scratch on my next tutorial. So keep in touch. That's Mike.